a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Boiling Frog The Boiling Frog is a fable describing a frog being slowly boiled alive. The premise is that if a frog is put suddenly into boiling water, it will jump out. But if the frog is put in tepid water which is then brought to a boil slowly, it will not perceive the danger and will be cooked to death. The story is often used as a metaphor for the inability or unwillingness of people to react to or be aware of sinister threats that arise gradually rather than suddenly. While some 19th-century experiments suggested that the underlying premise is true if the heating is sufficiently gradual. According to contemporary biologists the premise is false. A frog that is gradually heated will jump out. Indeed, thermoregulation by changing location is a fundamentally necessary survival strategy for frogs and other ectotherms. Experiments and Analysis as part of advancing science, several experiments observing the reaction of frogs to slowly heated water took place in the 19th century. In 1869, while doing experiments searching for the location of the soul, German physiologist Friedrich Goltz demonstrated that a frog that has had its brain removed will remain in slowly heated water. But an intact frog attempted to escape the water when it reached 25 degrees Celsius. Other 19th-century experiments were purported to show that frogs did not attempt to escape gradually heated water. An 1872 experiment by Heinzmann was said to show that a normal frog would not attempt to escape if the water was heated slowly enough, which was corroborated in 1875 by Fratzger. In 1888, Sedgwick said the apparent contradiction between the results of these experiments was a consequence of different heating rates used in the experiments. The truth appears to be that if the heating be sufficiently gradual, no reflex movements will be produced even in the normal frog. If it be more rapid, yet take place at such a rate as to be fairly called gradual, it will not secure the response of the normal frog under any circumstances. Goltz had raised the temperature of the water from 17.5 degrees Celsius to 56 degrees Celsius in about 10 minutes, or 3.8 degrees Celsius per minute, in his experiment. Whereas Heinzmann heated the frogs over the course of 90 minutes from about 21 degrees Celsius to 37.5 degrees Celsius, a rate of less than 0.2 degrees Celsius per minute. In, on the variation of reflex excitability in the frog induced by changes of temperature, William Thompson Sedgwick writes, in one experiment by scripture the temperature was raised at a rate of 0.002 degrees Celsius per second and the frog was found dead at the end of two and a half hours without having moved. Modern scientific sources report that the alleged phenomenon is not real. In 1995, Professor Douglas Melton, of the Harvard University Biology Department, said, if you put a frog in boiling water, it won't jump out, it will die. If you put it in cold water, it will jump before it gets hot, they don't sit still for you. Drive. George R. Tug curator of reptiles and amphibians at the National Museum of Natural History, also rejected the suggestion, saying that, if a frog had a means of getting out, it certainly would get out. In 2002 Dr. Victor H. Hutchison, professor emeritus of zoology at the University of Oklahoma, with a research interest in thermal relations of amphibians, said that, the legend is entirely incorrect. He described how a critical thermal maximum for many frog species has been determined by contemporary research experiments, as the water is heated by about 2 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1.1 degrees Celsius, per minute. The frog becomes increasingly active as it tries to escape, and eventually jumps out if the container allows it. As metaphor, the boiling frog story is generally offered as a metaphor cautioning people to be aware of even gradual change lest they suffer eventual undesirable consequences. It may be invoked in support of a slippery slope argument as a caution against creeping normality. It is also used in business to reinforce that change needs to be gradual to be accepted. Oppositely, the expression, boiling frog syndrome, is sometimes used as shorthand to invoke the pitfalls of standing pat. The story has been retold many times and used to illustrate widely varying viewpoints. 
Among them, in 1960 about sympathy towards the Soviet Union during the Cold War, in 1980 about the impending collapse of civilization anticipated by survivalists, in the 1990s about inaction in response to climate change, and staying in abusive relationships. It has also been used by libertarians to warn about slow erosion of civil rights. In the 1996 novel The Story of B. Environmentalist author Daniel Quinn spends a chapter on the metaphor of the boiling frog, using it to describe human history, population growth and food surplus. Pierce Brosnan's character Harry Dalton mentioned it in the 1997 disaster movie Dante's Peak in reference to the accumulating warning signs of the volcano's reawakening. Al Gore used a version of the story in a New York Times op-ed in his presentations and the 2006 movie An Inconvenient Truth to describe ignorance about global warming. In the movie version the frog is rescued before it is harmed. This use of the story was referenced by writer-slash-director John Cooksey in the title of his 2010 comedic documentary How to Boil a Frog. Law professor and legal commentator Eugene Volokh commented in 2003 that regardless of the behavior of real frogs, the boiling frog story is useful as a metaphor, comparing it to the metaphor of an ostrich with its head in the sand. Economics Nobel laureate and New York Times op-ed writer Paul Krugman used the story as a metaphor in a July 2009 column, while pointing out that real frogs behave differently. Journalist James Fallows has been advocating since 2006 for people to stop retelling the story, describing it as a stupid canard and a myth. But following Krugman's column, he declared peace on the boiled frog front and said that using the story is fine as long as you point out it's not literally true. In philosophy, in philosophy the boiling frog story has been used as a way of explaining the Sorites paradox. It describes a hypothetical heap of sand from which individual grains are removed one at a time, and asks if there is a specific point when it can no longer be defined as a heap. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?